Yo, Sakafet guys, my name is Kensei. I'm pretty sure you're happy with your version of Android 10 so far, but if you weren't able to flash it or you had some issues with it, my sincere condolences, you'll get it soon officially for your variant. But for those of you who had it installed and running, well, you might have seen some weird stuff going on, the UI or the fact that every time you're taking a picture, there is this unmutable short sound or the fact that you can't disable mobile data without going deep down into the settings. Well, stick till the end of this video and I'll show you my process to ease up the pain. Because this is Kevin Sarah. <music> Like always, there will be chapters in this video, so make sure to skip whenever you feel the need to. Let's start by the most painful one. You open the camera app to see if there is an improvement in the image processing software, and you make sure to put the phone on silence mode before ends, and then the next thing you hear is this. Why in the world? Well, there's a reason for that, a little backstory here. It all started with the Kyocera VP210, released in 1999. It was one of the first camera phones to have the first cutting edge camera, and the launch of this phone made Japanese people one of the first to have phone with a camera. That's when everything went wrong. They started misusing it. These camera phones were down being used to the famous upskirts photos, especially in crowded areas like in a metro. Thereby, Korea felt the need to make this the law. For good reasons. But you're not a creepy voyeur, hopefully. And I, I also am not. So the first thing to do is to install this app suggested by me by CL Strife called Camera Mute Beta, which goal is to mute the shutter sound obviously. The settings are rather simple. You can either start the process automatically or start it and stop it when you're done. But I'm always skeptical when it comes to apps waiting in the background for a process. I don't know if it's well optimized to do the work and at the same time not killing my battery in the process. This process can be quite bothersome if you take a lot of pictures but thanks to the LG you can activate a floating bar and make a quick shortcut. Ok, next. You want to set your phone to 3G only, 4G only or automatic but this option is now grayed out. That's fine. You opt out of setting and dial this number, but nothing works. How am I able to control my network preferences? Well, fear not. My next recommendation is one of the two apps and it's up to you to choose which one you prefer. Okay, the first one is Phone Info Dialer. It's very straightforward, you click it, it opens the testing menu, and it's very lightweight. The second one is Force LTE, it has more control, a guide, you can change your theme and control the signal reception of your phone. Even though Phone Info Dialer is lighter, I'm more interested in Force LTE because, watch this, you can pin the testing window and then uninstall the app if you want to. Even if you reboot the phone, the window will still be pinned, whereas if you do that um, in the former app, you'll lose the windows because the process is tied to the app. Next one, Usim, Quick Help, QVoice, QLink, and this list. I don't need them, I don't use them. The best thing to do here is to disable them. So package disable it is. It's two seven eight dollars but it's well worth it. But for any reason, if you can't buy the app, you can still do this via ADB. I'll upload a list of the package names that are currently disabled on my smartphone, so you will find a link in the description. Guys, I wanted to take this quick second to thank you all for watching the video. But please, remember to like it and leave a comment because YouTube's algorithm really likes this kind of thing and these small gestures can help me grow my channel. And if you are in the mood, you can even subscribe. It's free and it doesn't require vote. Ok, LG kinda copied one UI and tried to make one ended operation easier. But I said, try to. Just explain to me this. 
Why can't I swipe down when I am on the home screen to open the quick settings menu? Okay, I get it. Most of the times, people are not even in the home menu when using it. They are either in an app or else. Okay, that's why you created this option for us to be able to make the UI shorter, right? Hmm, that's so thoughtful. But hold on! Why are the quick settings cut off when doing this? Okay, my solution for this is fluid navigation gesture. It, I won't activate the full gestures capabilities, you could if you wanted to. It would remove that little bar at the bottom, but it will also remove that nice quick up switch. Okay, you could still use the side gestures for that, but that's just me. Go to the bottom edge, disable the others and set the right trigger or the left one if you are left handed. But unfortunately, to activate the data, you have to have root access which I don't have because I retired a long time ago from being a Sue. But if you already know how to root, the process will be straightforward. Download a custom quick settings app, give it root access, and you're done. Okay, about the notification tray. I still don't like it, especially the icons and the transpar transparency thing, but you can still install a One UI notification tray in the Play Store since they are very similar. Um, I didn't resolve myself to install a custom launcher or a theme because I feel that it messes up the feeling of the haptic motor. That just me. Um, if you want a video about the best theme configuration for your LG, de LG device, um, hit me up. Okay, that sums it up for today's video. Thank you for watching this. You can follow me on Twitter for updates. I'm usually active on the LG G7 subreddit, so you can follow me here. And you can also follow my Instagram, but there is not a lot of tech stuff going on here, so... Um, and I'm planning to do a video about the features I, li I like a lot about the LG smartphones slash a review so subscribe to me to be notified um of my future's video future videos <laughs> you watching keep insider i'm your host kensley and i will see you in the next video